What's going on, everybody? And welcome to another episode of the Other Side of the Firewall podcast, where we talk about the latest and greatest in cybersecurity news, as well as we highlight those movers and shakers and glass ceiling breakers, those people of color who've made it to the other side of the proverbial firewall. My name is Ryan Williams, and as always, I'm joined by Shannon Tynes. What's up? What's up? And LaVon Maynard. Hey, welcome to the show. What is going on? So uh, all of you guys out there listening, we're back. It's a new year. Um, Monday and Tuesday are our topics. Uh, Wednesday's discussion, and then Thursday, uh, we're going to try to do Ask Us SP, and um, Friday, we do uh, the weekly rundown where we talk about everything else. Please continue to like, share, subscribe to the podcast, uh, hit a bell or whatever you got to do, uh, whatever services you're listening to. I also forgot to, uh, to plug last time, if you're listening to us on Spotify, you can also watch the video. So now we have a video on LinkedIn. Spotify and of course YouTube and then audio wherever you listen to podcasts you can listen to us uh, so definitely keep that up throughout the new year super excited uh, if you listen to the last episode I am not rude <laughs> to, to sales people but I think you should go back and listen to it I need I need I need your opinion out there <laughs> am I being rude I'm not gonna give you any context because I want you to listen to the last episode <laughs> Without further ado, this episode, I give it to LeVon. Yes, sir. Yeah. So uh, um, in this episode, uh, we have an article from the Hacker News. Uh, this is from uh, Ravi uh, Lakeshmana. Let's catch my name. Um, and basically, it's an article. The article's title is uh, Researchers Detail a New Home Kit Door Lock Bug Affecting Apple iOS. And essentially, um, you know, iOS has a um, pretty much, they call it this home kit, which is a software framework that allows iOS to um, iOS users to configure, like uh, communicate with connected devices and accessories like their smart home. And I think it's similar to like Google home. They have a, uh, uh, a Google home where you can like connect to your speaker system or like you have, a, um, you have, um, you have Wi-Fi connected bulbs or you have uh, you know, any kind of like automated, like Wi-Fi connected bolts and locks and things like that, like that. You can use that, um, use this software to basically control those devices from your iPhone. Um, but essentially there's a vulnerability, a, a persistent denial, denial of service um, that's discovered in the iOS mobile system, a mobile operating system that's capable of affecting devices and, um, and it causes it to crash and reboot and go into reboot loop uh, upon connecting to the Apple Home compatible appliance. Um, and of course they, they dubbed it do, uh, door lock, um, and it can be triggered simply by changing the name of a home kit device to a string larger than 500,000 characters. Um, so essentially this is pretty, this is pretty, uh, you know, pretty impactful. Even if you like reset your iPhone, it's still going to cause the same, uh, um, same effect where you can get into this like constant, constant reboot. Um, even if you try to restore it from like a factory reset or what have you. But uh, the right now, Apple is actually working on fixing it. They say they have they can have a fix within, like, or they're trying to get a fix within early 2022. Um, but it's something that people are going to have to be cautious of. I mean, the way that people are potentially going to attack you with this uh, vulnerability is uh, an attacker may send you like a malicious invite to connect to like a home kit device with an abnormally large string of uh, as its name. Um, and effectively like locking you out of your, out of your, um, your data. Um, it's essentially, it's almost like a, uh, somebody in the article mentioned that it could be similar to uh, like a ransomware attack. You know, it could be set up like a ransomware attack where they can potentially lock you out of your system and you won't be able to get back in without like them modifying like the home kit device name or something to that effect. Uh, so you'd be kind of locked, locked out of your, your system. And even, I guess, even if you log into, apparently you can't even log into your, your iCloud of, uh, account, um, because it says to make to make matters worse, since HomeKit devices names are also stored in iCloud, signing into the same iCloud account with a restored device will set off the crash once again, unless the device owner opts to switch off the option to sync HomeKit data. So this can affect you, uh, you know, in a variety of ways, and it's like it's it's almost like uh, it seems like it's not like a, a surefire way to um, get around it. Um, it says that iPhone maker has attempted to mitigate the issue by introducing, introducing a local size limit on the renaming of HomeKit devices. Um, so, you know, all the iPhone users out there, 
we may have a couple of people on this this podcast right now that may be using my iPhones. You guys have to be careful. Just keep on a, on a lookout for crazy invites for home kits that look uh, look suspicious, um, and just uh, uh, you know be safe until Apple is able to release a, a patch. Because I can't imagine all of a sudden you can't get into your phone and just constantly rebooting, and it's like nothing you can do about it. Um, but I guess with that, uh, would you guys have? Uh, oh, what, what do you think about this, Ryan? What do you what do you thought? What are your thoughts? <laughs> So everybody knows I I am an Apple uh, fanboy. Yeah. Um, so I'm I'm a little disappointed. I do I do want to switch a lot of my devices over to uh, to Apple for my 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 quote unquote smart home. Um, so I need them to fix this. Uh, but it it seems rather obscure. Like why are you connecting to devices that uh, are not your own? Basically. Um, so you can kind of avoid it by just not connecting to uh, unknown devices, which you shouldn't do anyway, uh, which we talk about all the time. So I think you kind of get away, get away from it uh, in that way. Now, if someone were to um, take over one of your devices and then change its name, uh, that may get you, right? So if somebody was able to um, rename one of your speakers or um, try to think of some other devices that you may have in your Apple home, uh, and then you inadvertently connect to your own stuff. Cause you know what I mean? Like once, um, once uh, your devices have established a connection then they'll automatically connect when you walk back into the house, right? Uh, that could be a, a potential attack vector, I guess. That would take a lot of work for, for a hacker um, if your stuff is properly locked down. So obviously you make yourself uh, less likely of a target when you use competent passwords and um, uh, properly secure devices. Uh, but I can't, again, I, we kind of talked about it uh, last episode, uh, stuff like this is harder for us to fall for because we are uh, of the, the cybersecurity mindset, right? But uh, perhaps you go over a friend's house or uh, you have a neighbor who has a device that you, you, uh, you've seen it pops up and you want to connect to it for whatever reason, this could get you hemmed up. Uh, and there's really no way to get around it because you can't see if, if a, a device name is over 500,000 characters. Um, it's just not going to fill your screen up. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Until you, it's not going to give you a character count. So you're not going to know. It's just going to have a really long, obscure name that doesn't make any sense. So that, that should be, also be a red flag for you. Um, but why are you connected to Smiles' device anyway, though, uh, would be the question. Um, but again, if it's your own device, so somewhere where somehow to be able to, to, to get into your home network and then change your device name, uh, to above 500,000 characters, then you could be caught up in this. Um, but it's pretty obscure, but it would be very annoying. I'd be very upset. <laughs> right. Because uh, you know, not only is my device now uh, unresponsive and continuously rebooting, but uh, now you're impacting the, the iCloud where I keep all my stuff. Um, so that, that would, uh, would, would, would be no bueno. That would definitely uh, upset me to no end especially because I'm so dependent on all my Apple devices. Um, so it's definitely something to look out for. What, what about you, Shannon? So I, I do have a question, right? So like, I, I'm, I'm st still somewhat fairly new to the Apple, to the Apple world, but LaVon, I am going to end up coming home. I'm just trying to get my money. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Come on home. Come on. Home. Right. <laughs> but um, so in, the article, in the article, it says Apple home compatible devices, right? So the, these aren't right. necessarily Apple products, right? This is anything that's compatible. So like Apple has gotten to the point in these last few years, at least that I know of, to where they, they you know, they make way for other things, right? Like they do have right. all the proprietary stuff, but like, so <clears throat> a couple of things I have, I have an issue with, right? So this Apple is spreading its footprint right? Like it's going out mm -hmm. to all these other countries. Remember, it's one of those things where it may not be built in America, but it was only really used in America type thing, right? For the longest time. Right. But as you start expanding your footprint, these are the problems you run into, right? So this is that whole where people were thinking, oh, Apple's so safe, this, that, and the third. It's like, no, they just had a small footprint and it wasn't worth, it wasn't worth it for these people to go and and, and try to do the things that they're doing now. Well, they're, they're making money hand over foot now, right? Because they're like a $3 mm -hmm. trillion dollar company now, right? I don't know if you guys saw this recently. I think yeah. it's Apple. $3 trillion company, first one ever, right? So they're doing something. I helped, I helped make that happen. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. We know you did. <laughs> <laughs> you can you contributed, you contributed a few G's to that. I know, I know. But, um, right. But so like, this is, this is what you get into when you start doing that, right? So it's not necessarily that it's all Apple products, but when it's Apple, when it's Apple home compatible products, it could be stuff from yeah. other people who just may not be 
as uh, as secure in their devices as Apple may want to be with all their proprietary things, right? But um, but when you grow, these are the headaches you have to you have to deal with with that as well, right? right. Like come on over to where everyone else is. The second thing that kind of pisses me off with this though, they knew about this back in August, right? They mm-hmm. knew about this back in August, right? So there's been several updates since then. I remember one time, I don't know if it was going from 15 to 15 one or 15 one to 15 two, it was within like a week of each other. I had an update, you know what I mean? That came out. That yeah, I, I think that was an emergency push because yeah. something else happened. Right. Yeah. So you mean to tell me in all this time you haven't addressed this yet? Like you knew about it, right? Since August. So we're looking at it like four months now, right? That's what that's what upsets me more than anything is that you've known this is a thing and it's like, I, I you can't charge people all this money, <laughs> you know, for your product right. and not take care of it. You know what I'm saying? Um, right. Just the fact that they waited so long and we still don't like after I read this, I went and checked. I was like, well, shoot, do I have an update? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like maybe, maybe they put one out and I missed it. You know what I mean? I didn't, but I don't have, I don't have the Apple home stuff either. Right. But like, I'm just, I'm always checking for updates and it'll automatically, it'll automatically download. I don't have it always automatically installed. So, but yeah, that's, those, those are the two things that kind of, you know, you grow big. This is, this is the headaches that come with it. Right. right. But if you're going to do that, you need to make sure to stay on top of it. And August just seems a little too long for me for you to have known about this and, and got to this point. You like they didn't even give, like you said, Levon, they didn't even give like a, a definitive time frame. They just said early 2022. You know what I mean? What is early? What is your definition of early? My definition of early right. is January 1st through the third. Like you should have had it already. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> like you go, you're gonna tell me March, but like, oh no, it's still early, you know, still the first quarter, right? I, I don't know. That's that's what kind of that's what kind of upset me a little bit with this one. Um, but it's also why I'm coming on home, Levon. All right, that's right. Come on home. Hey, to, let, it, to home let everybody kid. know. Come yeah. on, coming on to the home kit. That's what you're doing. Come <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> home, home kit. <laughs> but uh, so so I, I have seen the badge on like the home kit badge on on uh, television, sound bars, things of that nature. So there are other devices out there that could could hem you up, right? Um, mm-hmm. But again, why are you connecting to unknown, unfamiliar devices um, would be my, my question. Uh, like, I, I can get that some of it could be ignorance or like uh, perhaps you see something pop up and you just want to, to uh, you know, explore or play around with it, what have you. But I just, I, I don't have a tendency to connect to other, other unknown devices. Uh, and then again, uh, I don't have any of these HomeKit devices because it's fairly new. So like, I don't have, uh, I guess, the, the most up-to-date um, uh, electronics uh, uh, right now. So I, I don't see things pop up in my own home. Uh, and then I, I've never been over somebody's house where uh, the TV's invited me to connect to it or the soundbars invited me to connect to it. So I don't know if that's because I disabled a feature or like, do you have to go looking for it to prompt it? I, I have no clue. Uh, I'm, I'm fairly ignorant on, on HomeKit, uh, but it was something I was going to start to dwell into when I did get home uh, because I, I own a lot of Apple devices, but uh, only two speakers. So in the future, when I upgrade the TV or I get a new sound bar, like that, those would be the things I'd be looking for to have the badge. So I, I definitely do want them to fix this. I'm, I'm not switching. <laughs> they, they got me. Like I'm, I'm in the ecosystem hired. So uh, I, I'm, I'm near uh, to, to the ride or die. Um, but yeah, just for people out there, just be on the lookout. Like, don't connect to unknown devices, uh, especially with obscure names. Um, when they when they said that it could be akin to ransomware, I, my only, um, uh, not even caveat. Like the only thing I, I I don't believe it to be akin to ransomware because the end game is not to extort you in any way. Uh, it's to uh, cause disruption. It's it's a jerk move. Like <laughs> they can't. Like once once you once you receive this, you're you're pretty much screwed because um, it, it affects your iCloud. So uh, like that device will be saved into your iCloud if you have that that uh, feature enabled. And now every time you connect to your iCloud, it will cause the disruption again. So there's no key for you to buy that will fix you. You just you're out of luck. I, I think I think the way the, I think where they're trying to connect these dots on this right. Is that they could they could they could take control of that device, but then you've lost access to your stuff, right? Like you want to get back into your iCloud again, right? 
right? Some people are just like, I have everything there, right? Like everything I do, but, it automatically. Yeah, but but you can't though. Like uh, it's 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 more like catching a virus than anything else. Like because it's going to you establish connection. Let's say like the TV. Like this is my understanding, right? I'm just trying to brainstorm out loud. You connect to a TV. The TV has an obscure name, uh, and then it causes like so. First, your your phone is going to remember that device. It's going to store that name into your iCloud, and then it's going to cause your phone to crash and reboot indefinitely. You will factory restore your phone, but the next time you connect to your iCloud, you will crash and go into a loop again. So there's no re- there's no re- there's no recovery um, for someone to provide you. You know what I mean? Like there's nothing they can do for you at that point. They've they've just they've caused the denial of service indefinitely. I don't know uh, if I read an article or not, but I, I'm assuming that they, the person that connects you to that device could potentially change the name of that device themselves. So that like- Right, but it's still in your iCloud though. You can't go into your iCloud because you can't connect to it without causing the loop is my, the way I'm interpreting it. But so, I'm thinking like if it's <clears> changed, if they change it wherever it's connected to like, you know, I don't know, like you change the device name and then I'm assuming that it synchronizes with iCloud. Like, I don't know if the iCloud is like, I don't know if it depends on your phone to be connected to the device to be connected to iCloud or the device itself can connect to iCloud without using your phone. No, as it would, yeah, it, it would go through, it would go through you to get to the cloud. Okay. okay. They, they may be thinking it's a pivot point, right? Like, and, and, they're not, and nowhere in the article does it say they're doing now, like what I'm saying that, that can be done, but they, they may be thinking that they could become a, a pivot point, right? So like you... If it's your device, you can control it and you may be able to have access to, you know, somebody else's phone or do whatever. But um, hmm. I, I don't I don't know. I, I think we're yeah. just beca- because we've been doing this for over a year now. I think we're just thinking the worst of everything. Like, uh, right, right. Like, this is how you can do this, that, <laughs> we, jump, we jump, we jump straight here, to. Here. Yeah, <laughs> right. Straight, straight <laughs> to the bad stuff. Well, yeah, yeah it just it just seems just uh, disruptive. It doesn't seem like they can extort you profit. Doesn't like from it. Profit. I mean, yeah. yeah, for profitable. But I, I mean, just it being disruptive is is enough. You know what I mean? Like I would be very, very angry. <laughs> like that, it takes a lot to reach uh, factory reset your phone. <laughs> like there's a lot of work that's involved. Um, so I, I mean, like, why are you doing that? Just to be a jerk, I guess. Um, and the, the time it would take, like you'd have to save uh, a string of 500,000 characters and then copy and paste it onto your device. <laughs> like that's not a mistake. You didn't. You didn't like. Oh man, <laughs> I didn't mean to name it that. Like no, you did. Um, yeah, yeah. And I'm thinking too that potentially. I mean, obviously, we're you know we're so much security focused, so we're not really most likely. I think the common person won't get caught up by this like uh, attack, right. but. I can I can imagine like a, a malicious person sending like you sending you an email that says, "Hey." Uh, hey, if you want to win this amount of money, um, add this new device. We have a new device that you can connect to that'll give you access to whatever feature on your iPhone. Just add it to your account and you'll be good. And then all of a sudden your phone just in an uh, unstoppable loop. But that's just my, my, uh, my thoughts as far as how somebody would try to catch you with this. Like, and, you know, right. obviously somebody, anybody, you know, there's somebody out there for everyone. I guess somebody's going to get caught. Um, yeah, that's true. Like I, I can see kids doing it, right? Yeah, like a kid connected to a device they don't know, right? Uh, and most likely, like if it's a small child, then they share iCloud with you, because um, mm-hmm. effectively it's your device, and then you'd be very upset, and then they'll be very upset because their iPad doesn't work anymore. So, yeah, right. <laughs> everybody's right. upset now. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm off. I'm all for helping people, but I still haven't got my two million dollars from that last Nigerian prince. I helped. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Me too. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Right. Uh, um, so yeah, so I, I can I can see the domino effect in that way, which would definitely be upsetting. Um, so I'm sure they'll fix it. Like there has there has to be a simple way to stop that from happening. You would think, like if it's not necessarily pushing you a patch, it's potentially pushing out uh, uh, ne- uh, mandatory patches to HomeKit devices where they are capped at. 499,999 characters. <laughs> like mm-hmm. whatever it takes to push the line back, you think they, they would be able to do. But I, I say that I'm not a developer. Right? So I, I'm, I'm sure it's more difficult than, uh, than what I'm thinking. 
Right. Yeah. Yeah. But I'll go ahead and, and land this plane. Uh, Apple forever. Apple for life. Um, <laughs> <laughs> please continue to like, yeah. share, subscribe <laughs> for more of this Apple goodness. Um, <laughs> Uh, hit up the website, www.theothersideofthefirewall.com. We get to all our social medias. You can hit me up personally. I'm at RyRy Security Guy. That's R-Y-R-Y Security Guy. I'm on LinkedIn, Twitter, TikTok, and uh, Clubhouse and you, LeVon. Yes, sir. You can hit me up on the Twitters at LeVon Maynard. There it is. Stay safe. Stay secure. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.